Apple's proprietary lightning connector is being phased out as the brand will now put USB-C ports in the new iPhone 15 series and AirPods Pro. This move is thanks to the EU rules that require all smartphones to launch with a Type-C connection type in the region. Apple is following through, but a new leak has revealed that the brand may be going all out by providing the latest standards and fast transfer speeds. New live images of the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, and 15 Pro Max's USB-C connector and PCB board come from a report by Charger Lab. The publication has also made certain revelations based on what they could find out from these images. All three iPhone 15 models seem to feature the same USB-C socket hardware. Surprisingly, this socket features a Retimer chip, which the publication says is commonly found in devices with a USB 4 or Thunderbolt spec USB-C port. This chip provides stability for high-speed transmissions and ensures a smooth transfer between longer distances, all of which point towards the iPhone 15 series featuring these standards. To recall, the Lightning port is based on USB 2.0 standard and allows just 480 megabytes per second of maximum transfer speed on the iPhone 14. Thunderbolt, or USB 4 specification on the other hand, will allow the iPhone 15 series to have wired transfer speeds of up to 40 gigs per second, which is on par with high-end laptops and tablets that feature the same hardware. It would not be surprising if Apple limits the functionality of these ports through its MFI program which allows only certain accessory makers certified by Apple to make compatible products. This would mean that your standard USB 4 or Thunderbolt supporting cables might not make full use of the fast transfer speed and other capabilities unless it's one that is MFI certified. However, you will still be able to charge your new iPhone with most USB-C cables which is beneficial and cost-saving in the long term for most users. It's worth stressing that another typical Apple move would be to gatekeep the speed improvements by making them accessible only when using official accessories. Sure enough, back in February, we heard that the iPhone 15's USB-C port will be software locked to limit both data and charging speeds when not connected to an MFI certified cable. The EU legislation that very likely prompted Apple to phase out lightning on the iPhone was intended to limit e-waste and help customers to use the same chargers and cables on multiple devices, but in practice, it may not be that simple. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Type-C on the iPhone 15 lineup? Share your valuable thoughts below, and if you guys enjoy the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive. See you in the next one. Peace out.